Ingles there. My name is Taylor and this is where Laura Ingles meets Morticia Adams and today we're going to be talking about something that I love which is board games. My family and I love board games. We're very competitive and once we get on a roll, mm, it's a sight. It can be very crazy and competitive but it's so much fun and my kids are all at the age where we're actually able to play these games and enjoy them. So I have a stack of board games here that I want to share with you in case you're interested because this time of the year from like now all the way through the winter time is our favorite time of year to be playing board games together for those cozy nights at home with some snacks and our drinks, our hot chocolate, playing board games, staying in our pajamas, being cozy. Here's some games I think that you will like. Go ahead and grab your cup of coffee, tea, or beverage of choice. I'm drinking water once again, and let's chat about it. No particular order. We are gonna begin with the first one. This is a recent game that we just got. This is called, from the movie Disney, Hocus Pocus, Tricks and Wits Card Game. This is a card game, and it says the kids versus witches. The Sanderson sisters have risen again, and only Max, Danny, and Allison can stop them. Split into two teams, kids versus witches, and work together to outsmart your opponents with clever card play. Get the ghastly spellbook before the black thing flame candle burns out to win. So it's two to four players. This is a fairly simple game to play and it's pretty quick. So what you're going to do is, if I can get it open, I'll tell you, is this is what the box looks like. I'm a sucker for packaging. Here's the directions. I'm just going to give you a really quick rundown. So you have all these cards. There's the witches actions cards, which tell the witches, if you're on team witch, what to do and there's the kids action cards which are going to tell the kids team what they need to do you have all these other little tokens that you can earn during the game here is the black flame candle that you lay out and it burns as you move throughout the game and we also have this little dice which has different actions which can we just talk about how pretty this is very glittery um, each roll has a different action it's a very fun quick game it says ages eight and up which is about right my son is five this is slightly difficult for him but we help him out so this is a fun little card game by who made this is this Funko I feel like it was yeah Funko games this is on Amazon I think if I believe I think it was $10 last time I checked. So this is a fun little Hocus Pocus card game and I love a theme. So like, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I like playing this game. I can watch the Hocus Pocus movie and have like little Hocus Pocus snacks. So this is a fun card game. And while we're talking about Hocus Pocus, I have this Hocus Pocus version, which this is a difficult in comparison to this one I personally find. This says a black flame candle has been lit. Now the Sanderson witches you can't must outwit or with the wretched evil potion, a foul spell they sit in motion, stun the witches and run the brew before the sun can rise anew. Work together to protect Salem's children and stop the Sanderson sisters from completing their wicked potion before the sun rises. Now, the reason why I like this game is it's a cooperative game, so you're working together and it's not so much competitive against each other, especially when you have kids and they get very competitive with each other. This is a fun game where we're trying to be the witches in the game. So here's just a quick little overview. It's been a while since we've played this game, so I can't remember exactly, but I remember us enjoying it and this is a cooperative gameplay. So if you have a family, especially with little ones, you know, where things get a little hectic, this is a good game to play together as a family unit or with friends or whatever the case may be. This says ages eight and up, two to six players, time 30 minutes. It did not take us 30 minutes. I feel like it took us longer than that, but give or take. So this is also another Hocus Pocus game that would also be fun to play after watching the movie and have a little Hocus Pocus night. So this is this one. I cannot, I haven't seen the price on this one recently, but we got this at Target last year. So this Hocus Pocus game as well. If I had to pick just from off my memory of this experience of playing this game, which has been a while, um, I need to play it again. But I, so far from what I recall, this one I enjoy more than this one. Subject of Halloween games. This is probably our new favorite game. This is very easy to play. 
and fun to play together. This is Pumpkin Showdown, a silly spooky card game. This is upside down. So this is ages six and up, three to six players, 20 minutes. Basically, it reminds me of Uno with dice. So everybody's going to get cards. Let me open it up. Love the packaging. And it has the cutest little verse in here, a little story to go along about Boo Hollow when you're playing. So you have your pumpkin, which you throw at each other to give them an action that they need to do. You have the dice that tells you what to do whenever you roll it. And then you have hit cards. And then you have the actual cards that you hold in your hand and play with. So it reminds me of Uno with cards and whoever gets three hits loses the game and you play into the last player standing this is a very fun easy game to play especially with little ones my son is five he enjoys playing it so this one is probably our top favorite as of right now current halloween game and this is called pumpkin showdown which this is also a funko game as well all of the more halloween themed games that i have currently but whenever i think of fall i think of mysteries and spooky games and all that good stuff so of course we have the classic game of clue which we love this game as a family and the kids enjoy it this one is eight and ages eight and up two to six players i think everybody has a good idea about clue who done it kind of vibe which i absolutely love but we also, we have not played this one yet. We've had it for a while and we need to play this. This is called an Escape and Solve Mystery Game Clue. Treachery at Tudor Manor. This is players one, or one to six players, ages 10 and up. It says level two of difficulty out of three, out of five. So two out of five, 90 minutes. This is like an escape room slash clue game. We haven't played this one yet, but I'm really excited to do that soon because I want my family and I personally love whodunits. So this will be really fun to play. I'm hoping that the kids will enjoy it as well. It says the classic clue story in an escape room board game. You and five other guests have been invited to join Bodie Black for an evening of fine dining and a chance to discuss some personal business. After dinner, he announces he intends to blackmail you all, of course. <laughs> Shortly after, the power cuts out and you find Mr. Bodie dead. Armed with only your wits, you must escape and determine who killed Mr. Bodie, where they did it, and with what weapon. So it's like a clue, but with an escape room bob. And it also has the timer, so this will be fun to play as well. The last game I'm gonna share with you, we recently played, and this is really fun. This was called Escape from the Grand Hotel. What hidden secrets we uncover in the Grand Hotel. This was similar to this clue game. This was like an escape room uh, whodunit game as well. But this game <laughs> was hard, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. This is ages 12 and up, absolutely. Two plus players, 90 minute game. You're supposed to set the timer for 90 minutes and try to beat the game within that 90 minutes, but this game is so difficult that we found that it took us longer than that, which we didn't stress that. We just enjoyed playing the game, but this was a lot harder and uh, as far as difficulty goes, this made me go cross-eyed a couple times. There were some clues in there and some prompts that were easy and then the further along in the game you go the harder they get and i was like this by the end of the game i had a headache the kids were grouchy i would not suggest this game for kids under the age of eight because that's all three of my kids are under eight and they were like mom this is it but this would be really fun for like teens tweens and adults mostly for adults i find so yeah this is also fun as well for me and my husband, not so much for the kids. <laughs> that is all the games that I have that are currently in my stack that are Halloween and mystery themed because like I said, mysteries and fall just go together like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do have any of these games, let me know what you thought, which ones you enjoy. If you end up trying one of these games out, please let me know as well what you thought and your opinion on them. As always, I'm so thankful for you guys. And if you would like to stick around for some more spooky shenanigans, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.